Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Welcome to the NZ Ahead podcast. Everything you need to know about moving to and living in New Zealand. There's a whole world here. So nice to be with you again. We call Aotearoa around here, bro. Uh-huh. You'll be right. We are your hosts, Liz and Brian. Amazing New Zealand in the southern seas. See, that's where I belong. That's home. Hello and welcome to the NZ Ahead podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we're going to be talking to you. We're going to talk to you about a couple of things really, but we're going to be talking to you about a couple of conversations that have been being had within our private community group. So (laughs) thank you to you guys because we haven't had to do any prep for this. (laughs) No, but that's the great thing about the community is like they have ongoing questions. So if you're thinking of moving to New Zealand, because that's why you listen to the NZ Ahead podcast. Yep. You know, you're going to have similar questions to these yeah. uh, and hopefully we can give you the answers. So the first bit of news we've got is I reckon this is just going to make you feel so good today when you listen to this podcast, because we've had a bunch of people within the within the community on the Slack group yep. saying that they've been off or well, not a bunch, but two or three saying they've been offered jobs. Yep. And those jobs haven't been healthcare workers. Yeah, and critical care workers yeah. in that way. You know, so that means NZ companies are going, right, we now to, can start looking at bringing immigrants back over. Like, yeah, you know? how positive is yeah. that? That's Which great, is, isn't it, Brian? It's great. It's, it's just, it's good to know because, you know, New Zealand needs skilled people to come on over here yeah. and, you know, help out basically. Because um, yeah. that's, that's the whole idea of... Um, you know, thinking that you want to move somewhere in the world and choosing a country that's like, yeah, they need us, let's go. Yeah, yep. so we, we won't give any names in case these people haven't told their bo- their yeah. bosses where they're working at the moment that yeah. they're leaving. But someone has been offered, a jo- or it's looking very positive in forestry. Yes. Wasn't it? Yep, yep. Um, and someone else... Was IT uh, learning development, Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. Yep. And then what about... I can't say their name, (laughs) but anyway, there was another and he's in IT and he's just got a job there coming over in August. Is that right? Yes. I think it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I don't like to say, I'm not going to say any names just because I'm paranoid that people haven't yet told their bosses that they're leaving and maybe they'll get into trouble. But how good is that? It's just, it's just great news. It is, It really, really is. Like, you know, because at one time, even, you know, three months ago, it was all, oh, it's going just to be like 2025 20, before workers. I can move over. Yeah. And it's just now that it's just changed because, you know, COVID has gone through New Zealand like a dose of salt. So great. Um, you know, uh, it, it just means that borders are opening up yeah. quicker than what we thought as well. Yeah. Which means that that companies can now look at employing people. What job would you have if you're in forestry? What does that mean? I didn't an, like I an didn't... arborist. You can be an arborist, which could, could be cutting trees down, yeah. um, which I... You know, um, because it's it's a huge thing. I'm not just talking a guy going up a tree with a chainsaw, chopping the top off it. There's right. lots of different ways, you know, the machinery that's used. Or just generally uh, a person that would look after the forest or figure out how to cut the forest down and, re- you know, it's sustainable. And yeah. there's lots of things that are in forestry. It's huge in New Zealand. Yeah. It's the, you know, it, it's... Um, I remember talking to a guy that uh, I used to do maintenance um, for the offices uh, on the heating systems and things like, you know, and he had hundreds of thousands of acres of forestry um, that he'd, he'd bought or got got into business. You know, he was a real entrepreneur guy. And it was, you just didn't realise that this guy who owns an office block owned a, a forest as well, like, you know. Mm. Um, and so you've got to look, you've got to maintain these forests. Who was that? Oh, Marsh Kibby, I think his name is. Uh, from yeah. New Plymouth? He's from New Plymouth, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow, yeah. imagine so you, owning a forest. Yeah, you could you could probably Google that name if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I've always thought that would be a lovely job to just, you yeah. know, like just be in charge. You just be, be at one with nature and just yeah. be in the forest. Yeah. And, oh. well, he, he didn't just own it all by himself. He he was in, you know, the consortium that owned right. the yeah. forest, like, you know, mm. and things like that. And you just think, yeah, wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So that was our first positive bit of news. Cause, so we came on here today and we've, like I say, I was I was just scrolling through the um, Slack chat of the private uh, members and I saw that people are like, well, hey, woohoo, you know, I've got my second interview. I've got my third interview. I've been offered a job in Wellington. And like I say, it's, it just makes you feel so positive and so uplifted and so 
optimistic yeah. about the fact that New yeah. Zealand is opening up. And yeah, so yeah, we it, wanted it, to share that yeah, with you. Yeah, I know they changed immigration rules where, oh, only certain companies can do it, but it's not that hard to, you know, register with New Zealand Immigration as, you know, a, a company that can bring you over. Yeah. You know, it's they haven't made it too hard. It's just that, you know, so not the jobs are going to be genuine and the companies yeah. are the, should be genuine as yeah. well. Yeah. And another bit of news that we had was um, not news, but I'm going to thank Priscilla for this, actually, because she was just in the throes of thinking about moving to New Zealand. And yep. she put a question out to the group of how would you describe Kiwi culture? Um, I think yeah. she's, you know, she's trying to get her head around. Yeah, because I think it's one of her questions on a interview brief or something. An interview pack, yeah. 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 yeah, it's how would you describe Kiwi culture? Yeah. So we just thought we'd just sit here for the next 15, 20 minutes or whatever, and we can just tell you what we think Kiwi culture is. Yes. And um, say what a couple of, like Katie, who lives in Dunedin, she's also a member of our community, and she said, kind and respectful she said yeah and that respectful means to the land as well yeah yeah it's not just to other people but they are a, new zealanders are super respectful to each other yeah you know they're, they they're not noisy and aggressive and too much you know obviously there always is in certain things but i'm just saying if you've got your neighbors they're quite aware that you know you've got to be up for work tomorrow so mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to tell you if there's going to be a party on or if even if they're playing loud music or anything. It's normally finished by 10, 30, 11 o'clock, isn't it? Here's an interesting thing, though, Brian. What? Well, I was talking to Tessa the other day and she was telling me two families that she knows, right? She said, yeah. she said it's unbelievable. She said, you go round to the house for dinner, she said, and they shout over each other. But lots of families do that. No, I know. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> What's the neighbours going to hear? Well, yeah, that, she just said, oh, it's a nightmare. She said, you feel like you're in the middle of a football pitch. She said, yeah, because all the family are just shouting over each other. I know, but I wanted to make that clear because I'm always aware when we say things like, oh, New Zealand is very kind and respectful and quiet. I don't want you sitting here thinking, <laughs> no, yeah, you know, that they're yeah, like this yeah. timid little toads yeah. that, like Japan. excuse me, pass the salt. Yeah. You know, it's no. like, I just wanted to say that because that's what her, she she comes from, a, like me and you don't yeah. tend to shout at dinner and no. we're not like a shouty family. Well, I am, but you know, <laughs> we don't sit here and shout, but. Yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd just throw that in anyway. No, it's true. I mean, I'm not being funny. <laughs> As I was saying, oh, they're not aggressive and things like that. You know, go and play them at rugby. Um, you'll see if they're aggressive or yeah. not. So, yeah, and you don't want to cross a Kiwi. So you have that respect. They're like, if I push you too far, you, you know, some big boys and they're going to give you a good, good whack line. You know? Yeah. Do you so, know what? I didn't know how to say this in the Slack chat, but I'll just say it here so people can hear. But the other thing I think as well with the Kiwis is... Remember, if you're moving to New Zealand and you're looking for an immigration advisor to help you with all the process, the company we recommend are NZ Shores. The guys over there are absolutely brilliant. Loads of members of our NZ Ahead private community use them and they have raved about them. And that's why we recommend them. The brilliant thing about NZ Shores is they offer a free assessment. So if you're wondering whether or not you're eligible to move to New Zealand, you go to their website, you fill out a form and they will contact contact you and tell you whether or not it's worth moving forward and how they can help you. And that's absolutely free. The way you can get to that assessment form is by going to www.nzshores.com slash Liz. So that's nzshores.com slash Liz. Go over there, fill out the form and you will be in such good hands with NZ Shores. The other thing I think as well with the Kiwis is... They've got this thing where they'll they'll take so much mm -hmm. and then you push them too far and yep. they'd snap. That's yeah, that's sure. the impression I get. Yeah, so style. they're very respectful yep. and yes, they're very kind, but do not mistake that for being able to be walked over. Mm, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, they don't like to be walked no, over. They do not. Don't overtake a Kiwi in his car. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden it will be this turbocharged car that can come past you, even though it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to coming up the hill. Yeah. But yeah, so I thought I didn't know how to put that into words really for the Slack chat, but I've just said it there. But that's yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's how I would say it, Brian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice to say there's peaceful and uh, yeah, but it's, mm. it's it's just like if you disturb the peacefulness then expect a retribution yeah the other words i use so i said that and i said independent because yeah. i feel as if they have to be 
yeah, but I feel as if Bri, there, and, and I also said proud, and I don't mean that in a horrible negative way. I mean, no. they don't, I feel as if they don't need to ask for anything. We'll just do it ourselves, you know, just like, we yeah. don't need you, yeah. you know, but not in a horrible way, but almost like that independence yeah. and that pride, pride, pride. Well, it is. That, com- that comes that, that from that isolation, that independence where they make themselves independent. You know, we've yeah. talked about that before on, on other podcasts and things where, you know, it's like um, if something goes wrong, they fix it. That independence to yeah. think, well, we don't need your part. That's going to take, you know, 12 weeks to get here from wherever it is. We'll make it ourselves. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Not everything, but, you know. That's where it comes from originally, mm. I think, doesn't it? You know, the so number the, eight wire mentality, as they call it. Yeah. Fixing everything with a bit of fencing wire. Mm. Yeah. So they're the words that sort of came to, and I I also wrote happy because they are a happy, well, they are. They are a happy yeah. race of people, aren't yeah. they? You see them because we talk about going down the cafe. That's the only places we ever go, isn't it, really, is the cafe and this, that and the other. And everyone is just happy to see each other. Oh, you know, morning, lots of good mornings, mm. Morena, and just, you know, g'day, kia ora. It's Apart just from that woman, Bride, today. It was, it was, it was awkward that, that this morning, wasn't it? Well, when we went down for a walk down the campsite and that oh, woman right. passed us. But yeah, but you just, like you say, you don't know what she's going through. Um, mm, and it's true. not everybody, is it? The majority of people are. So you're not up you know, for a bit of gossip then, Brian? No, I just no? thought we were being not judgmental the there, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. There you go. <laughs> no, but I just think sometimes it's harder work to not say hello to yeah, someone. Of course it and is. it stands out. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's the oh, big that, thing. Yeah, yeah that is a good Because everybody point. sort of says hello to each other. And when someone doesn't, it's like... What's up? They're the odd one out. Yeah. Whereas when we were in when we we've told this story before but when we came back from canada we went to canada and worked and we we just we, we got used to being because canadians are so friendly and we got mm-hmm. used to being in an environment where it's like howdy hello oh, like good morning yeah, like yeah. you know and it's like so lovely yeah. and me and brian said right that's it when we get back to Corm- Newquay in cornwall you we'll know we're, we're going to do the same and yeah. I, you know we've, we've probably told you but we made a point of every single person that we met yeah. walking along the street yeah. it lasted about two weeks then it was like oh, you <laughs> it's like good morning i was yeah. like oh shut up Howdy. <laughs> some yeah. nutters again look yeah. here they come yeah. <laughs> with their canadian boots yeah. on <laughs> flying a canadian flag yeah but yeah it's so true it's like they they stand out when they don't say hello to you yeah. Yeah. So that's all I want to say. Yeah. Can you think of any other words that you, otherwise it's going to be a very short podcast. Yeah, again, it's similar to that independence, that can-do attitude. Um, you know, um, it's like you say, oh, I was going to say more about the independence side of it, but it's, you know, the kids can leave home very early and they're quite happy. That, that independence is good to see. But going back to can-do attitude, it's, it's, it's just, come on, she'll be right. Let's mm. get on with it. Let's do it. You know? Uh, and it, it's so positive, that positivity, it's that positive and can-do attitude. Yeah. That's the big thing, like, you know, it's just like nothing, it, there's problems, obviously, but it just, it's like, how can we work this out? You know, I've talked about it before, you go to a building site, someone's just, you know, you know I don't know, drilled a hole in the wrong place and it's just, you know, it's going to be a right mess. It's just, right, what do we do to sort this out? Mm. Let's get, can you do this? Can you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So it's now that problem is not a problem. Mm. It's just something that's going to get sorted. It's a bit delay, but we'll get it fixed. And I think it brushes off on you as well. I think that whole attitude just, it's hard to live here and carry on being a bit of a negative, you know, yeah. ninny. Bomb. Yeah, that's no, like, no, yeah, I'm, but yeah. Mm. maybe we should just talk about, oh, I'm just going to see if anyone else on the chat said any. Well, so Hillary said, I would say welcoming, kind, and adventurous. They are yeah, adventurous. adventurous. Yeah, They do like to travel the Kiwis. Yeah. yeah. It's adventurous in that way. And adventurous at home. You just look at all these extreme sports that they do over here. That's the adventurous side of it. You know, jet boating, bungee jumping, all those extreme things that you can do. There's so many things that you, you know, these super, the biggest, longest flying foxes in the mm. world and all those sort of things. Like, you know, it's it's amazing, isn't it? Like, it's just, Wow. And it's funny because, you know, when you like talk about a country and like, say, for example, you think you, you put, a, um, what's the word, you, you know, you put a, an image, you have an image, an Im- imagery of what, when someone says, OK, what do you think of when you think of an Italian man? OK, dark, tall, handsome, a great lover, you know, what do you think of when you think of a French woman, you know, beautiful, mm. Parisian, you know, black eyeliner, blah, 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 you know, mm-hmm. so you always have this. What do you think of when you think of an Englishman, you know, just... Mm. moaning old sod yeah. and yeah. you have this Bowling thing and, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but 
if you said, what do you think of when you think of a Kiwi woman or a Kiwi man, you would think advent- just outgoing, adventurous, yeah. up for it, up for it. Yeah. you know, hiking, outdoors. Yeah. And we've talked again, you know, we have covered this before in a previous podcast about, I think we did a YouTube channel on um, stereotypical people in New Zealand. Yeah. But actually, you know, you think of New Zealand, that's what you think of, isn't it, Brian? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. No, I was down the building site at um, uh, the, um, uh, this morning. I had to go for a meeting, uh, and I just can't believe how many Kiwi women there are on the building sites these days. Mm. Which is it's amazing to see. Like you know, you just think, wow, it's just like a man's place, you know. And it's just like no, these women are on on, on there as well. Like you know, doing full blown building jobs. I I remember it really shocking me when I came to New Zealand and saw women um, digging the roads and things like that. Just like, you know, like you say, construction workers. Do you think that's the same all over the world or is that just It may be getting that way, but, you know, I haven't lived in the UK for 13 years now, so I've not been on a building site in the UK. It might well be happening there, you know, but there's a big thing with, um, you know, the apprenticeships that are being handed out to to women, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is is brilliant, you know. Well, that's the other thing as well. So you can say then... Kiwis are just so, what, what's the word when you're forward thinking and, you know, just they gay marriage and, yeah, you know, yeah, everything. Yeah. Equal rights. Equal rights, that's, that's, that's it. That's the and thing, yeah. Yeah, it feels very, we were talking about this the other night at mm-hmm. dinner, weren't we, with the kids, you know, and I was saying about, because again, I know I keep referring back to the community, but it's where I spend all my life now, <laughs> talking on this Slack chat with our New Zealand calling members, our, our, you know, on m- moving to New Zealand members and, Someone on uh, on on the chat said about how this age group, you know, this teenagers now, like especially like, this generation, this generation, Is kids. That, yeah, yeah, are just so they've taken it forward. You know, they've taken a leap forward, and we were talking about it at dinner, weren't we? And we yeah. were saying uh, with Tessa and Finlay and everything about you know, being gay and just being, because, and I, I'm going to get Finlay on a podcast and talk to him because he's, he's such a great guy to talk to. Yeah. But just about that whole openness about, I, I think I said to them, so what is it like, you know, when someone says, oh, well, I'm gay. And they're like, well, <laughs> you know, yeah. absolutely what, fine. What are you telling why, us for? It's well, just, it why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'd love that because yeah. it's just, that is that, it certainly wasn't like it when I was a teenager. No, it's, it's almost like that, that Californian attitude where everybody in California is so different, like, you know, and that's what they, they, they say, don't they? Like, yeah. You know, and it, it's, it's similar here. It's just, you know, it, it's one of the first places in the world to, um, Legalise gay marriage, uh, give women the right to vote yeah. and uh, women's rights. Yeah, it's, yeah. When you look at what New Zealand's done, you know, they've been first quite a few times yeah. done on doing things and setting the standard and, you know, e- just equal rights. We should things. do that. We should do a YouTube video on that, Bri, because that's... Yeah, I think we should. That, do I love that topic. Yeah, the but first, yeah. yeah, first to do this, first to yeah. do that. Yeah. But I just wanted yeah. to say that that's the... That's coming out of the mouth of a, a 17 year old girl and her mm-hmm. boyfriend is just, yeah. it, it just makes me proud that they're Kiwis and proud that of New Zealand, that they're just, you know, it's, and like I say, maybe it's the same all over the world. I don't know. I can only speak for New Zealand, but it feels like we're a forward thinking country. Yeah, it's, it's, it's open minded. That's what yeah. it is, isn't it? Like, you know, yeah. it's just, uh, and that's, that goes back to the respectfulness of if that's what you know will respect the way you want to be yeah you know yeah it's it's all the things like nowadays with non-binary and stuff like that it's just like okay yeah Yeah, okay yeah you know well so that was that then and um yeah that's i just wanted to chat about that but also i also want to say that if you are here thank you for being here and well done on your journey to new zealand and thank you for loving new zealand as much as we do but You'll often hear us talking about um, NZ Ahead membership, and that is just a community of people that we have brought together to help make their move to New Zealand a reality. So within that membership comes hours and hours of videos, and you you know you've heard us talk about it before: unreleased podcasts, videos on life in New Zealand. And to get to to be part of that membership, you we, we would prefer you to go through our free five day video guide, which it's free. So why wouldn't you want to take that? And then, yeah, when you get to the end of that free five day guide, you're offered the opportunity to become a member of this community. And to get to that free five day guide is um, www.nzahead.com slash free. 
Free. F R double E. I always think I'm saying three as like a child. Free. Free. (laughs) But yeah. yeah. Free as a bird. NZAhead.com slash free. Go and get your five day video guide. And on the fifth day, see if you want to come and join this community. And then we can talk about you on the podcast and say what you've been saying. It'll be uh, Hillary or Priscilla or Katie B. Yeah. 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 I it's love each and every well. one of them. I know I always say this, but I do. I just feel very, very close to all of them. Yeah, and we have people from all around the world. So if you think, oh, you know, we, we, we you know, it's uh, we've had people joining up. Um, oh, we've had two people from Germany this week. Join. Germany, yeah. How and lovely is that? A guy from Slovakia. Yes, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And oh, there's people from all over the world. Yeah, Belgium. Um, and that Africa. makes me so excited, Bright, to think that. Because you tend to think that people who move to New Zealand are, are, I always tend to think Americans, you know, Canadians, British, you know, but just think that, oh, you're all over the world, you Mm know, yeah, coming from Germany. You would never, I wouldn't think that you would come from Germany to New Zealand. I know. And that's, you know. Because that would be hard with the language and. Yeah, it's like, I've always thought France is one of the best countries ever in the world mm. isn't it like you know um to because it's kind of got everything there and it's like why would you leave france to come to new zealand because mm. it's an english speaking country and if you do get citizenship you're gonna have to swear allegiance to the queen or king whoever it is at the time and it'd be like for a french person to do that mm. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that you know even a german if they wanted to be a citizen here it'd be like oh mm. yeah yeah but she's the queen of new zealand not the queen of england yeah yeah so no, that's really, really exciting. And I take my hat off to people like that. And I love being able to be here and help, you know, just help you go through that process. So yeah. welcome to all our all our non English. Yeah, yeah. And our non non English speaking NZ headers yeah, exactly. as well, you know. Yeah. That's just absolutely fantastic. Right, okay. So we hope you've enjoyed this chat. Yeah, it's and quite a short chat, but Yeah, it's yeah. short for us, isn't it? But it yeah, is. it's yeah. just nice to be able to just jump in and just yeah. Give the latest. Give you a, a little bit of an update on uh, NZ and what the people are like. Yeah. Hopefully you, you can uh, understand what we're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So until next time, take care and we'll speak to you soon. Yeah. So kia kaha, stay strong. Uh, kia u, stay true. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us on the podcast this week. We have loved having you here with us. If you love this week's show, please share this with your friends. Send it to anybody you know that wants to think about moving to New Zealand and get on over here yourself. And tell them how brilliant it is as well. And also, if you haven't signed up for our free five-day video guide showing you what life is like, really like, in New Zealand, then go over to the website and sign up. You are missing out. This is brilliant. Go over to www nz ahead slash free and we will send you five days worth of videos about what life is like in new zealand you are going to love it so one more time that website that you need to sign up for the free five-day guide is www.nz ahead slash free so we're going to see you next week until then have a great week and we'll speak to you soon bye Bye. Say bye again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>